texted me. Is that Alaska? Aw, it was Alaska. That's so sweet. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my god, I ate some of that rum, rum cake that we made last night with um, Cat Guy. I ate some of that for breakfast. I might have been a little buzzed. I'm gonna be honest, pretty sure. Slightly buzzed from the rum cakes. He poured like a fifth of alcohol. Not really, I'm exaggerating. But he poured a lot of rum in the rum cake that we made last night. And by we, I mean he made it. I just read chat and supervised. But it turned out really well. And I'm surprised we actually baked something on stream. Not only did we bake something on stream, we did it and we finished early. It was crazy. That's very un Kathy like By the way, he's uh, going to be coming once a month. And I think we're going to stick with baking, even though he's a really good cook. I think he's a better, he's a really good, he's a rogue baker. I don't know. We'll see. You guys can uh, help vote on what cat guy makes. Make that a channel point redemption. Uh, but he's going to come once a month and bomb stream because he has so much fun. And then other Ryan is also going to bomb stream probably sometime, I'm guessing the next month or something because uh my neighbor ryan hasn't bomb stream in a while as well in general i just think i'm gonna keep rotating especially in the summer just keep rotating guests on stream because i like people teaching me how to cook because i don't know it's fun it's fun to learn from other people also call me chef g is currently doing her birthday stream right now if you guys don't know um she's a fellow good cause crusader she's also one of my irl friends and uh yeah one of my gal pals and i'm hoping that uh she she and her wife psyched I'm hoping that they come on stream sometime. God, it'd be awesome if they could come on stream this month for Pride Month. That'd be cool. Also, might get my parents on here. Though, I don't know. Last time my parents were on here, I almost killed my mom because I gave her nut liqueur, forgetting that she was allergic to nuts, and then she turned bright red. That was very bad of me. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Let's get this going. I mean, oh, there we go. Stab. Stab, stab, gonna do this one. Thank you for the shout out to uh, Call Me Chef G. She is so amazing. She's doing an uncapped birthday stream right now, which means she will keep streaming as long as like shenanigans are going on. And I think she's streaming up until her birthday, which is awesome. Thank you, Tyler, for the lurk. I appreciate it very much. Um, Yeah, it's super fun. I, yeah, I try to see them. Luckily, I see them about once a month. What's up, Swipe Bot? That's a funny name. Okay, can we fit both of them in? I think we can fit both in. <laughs> That's what she said. I think we can fit both in. Yeah, we're gonna have to break it down, but I think. Oh, I didn't even check. That's that looks like it's more than two pounds of. But were these bigger than two pounds? Oh, Fraggle Rock. No, it is one pound. Okay, these are these are some big one pounders. Because I know my big cast iron skillet can do five pounds of meat. All right. Here we go. We'll try to shove it all in there. Uh, you beat me to it, lols. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, season. We have to season as we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pepper? Oh, I broke my pepper thingy. I don't know why or how. How did I mess it up? Okay. Is one of these dead? Down, up, down, up, right. Okay. Oh, it's got the picture to show you how to do it. I did do it right that way. That way. Wait, what kind of pepper grinder takes? Okay, so that one's up this one's Ooh, is that how i messed up oh 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 did i fix it ah one of them was upside down there were six of them in my defense one of them was upside down and that's why it wasn't working okay now we good more pepper all the pepper what's that world sometimes it doesn't all fit right away that's true you got to take your time Gotta be patient. Where else? You're making good points. Okay. Let's move this up. I'm gonna move chat so I can actually read. There we go. How are you doing tonight, Where else? Welcome in. We're chilling and making chili. 
Then we're gonna chop up a bunch of vegetables and I think we're gonna make honey cornbread. And I'm gonna probably feed everyone I know with this batch. The one thing I'm good at, chili. I hope so, it's been a while since I've made chili. But I hope it still turns out as good as it did before. Oh, is this pot big enough? Oh, I probably should have done it in the other cast iron. I should have done it in the actual cast iron pot. It wasn't very smart of me. Okay. We're going to have to change to a different pot eventually. Okay. And then it'll be interesting to see what people, if anyone has suggestions on what to put in chili, I'm open to it. Uh, what are you saying? Okay. Um, I think, so I usually do a tiny bit of soy sauce or fish sauce, like for some extra umami. I do uh, garlic. Uh, sometimes I'll add barbecue sauce. Army gets recommended adding a little bit of uh, instant coffee to add smokiness instead of using like artificial smoke. What else do we add? Lots of seasonings. What is my secret? Sometimes I add gochujang. That's fun. I do not add uh, tangjang, which is the soybean, it's fermented soybeans. That's not a good idea. One time I was getting freaky freaky and I added it and it was a terrible idea. I will say there will be beans in this chili. I use beans as filler. It's not Texan style. I mean, like I make Texan style chili when I'm making it for myself, but when I make chili for other people, I usually add beans. So all the Texans want to yell at me and say it's not real chili, knock yourself out. But it's more economical, especially when you're feeding a lot of people. Where's my gloves? Where's my, oh, there they are. One sec. Pan. There we go. Um, chili is so good. What else do I, I put something, oh, brown sugar. I usually put brown sugar in it. So I like it salty or like add some salt, add something sweet. Lots of extra like herbs and spices. I'm trying to think what my secret ingredient is though. Brown sugar is definitely one of my secret ingredients. Oh, and I add a little Korean tashida, which is a, like a beef bouillon, so it gets extra meaty flavor. When I was a kid, my dad put uh, canned tomatoes in it. That's what I'm doing. That's right back there. So my, my ratio is usually for every pound of meat, I do one can of uh, canned tomatoes, diced, and I do one can of beans. I like to do the tri-blend bean mix stuff, but they had um, pinto and red beans, I think, or something like that. So I did those ones instead. This is budget friendly. And then I think I usually do one small onion to every, so it's like one, one, one. One small onion, one pound of meat, one can of tomatoes, one can of beans and then season the fuck out of it. And then I always pair it with my honey cornbread, which I was told is bomb diggity. Um, Alphys, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the AFK kitchen. Um, uh, my kid puts, yeah, in my experience, giving time for the flavors to meld uh, in chili is very important. Yes, where I agree, which is why we're doing it in the beginning of strange so that it can simmer whilst we make the cornbread to go with it. Hepatitis Lord said, I'm tired of fighting my demons. I might kiss them, actually. Hell yeah, that's what, that's the attitude. That's what I would fucking do. I would heavily make out with my demons. Probably let them do more to me than just make out with them. <laughs> Have a drink on us. What up, Aquafina? How are you doing? Hold the flashlight steady. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, though. Balls. Okay, we got a drain. I've been turkey chili in a long time. I always like it beef, beefy, beefy meaty. But turkey seems healthier. <laughs> and all of them are very healthy, you know? You know the people who drink protein shakes? That's who's eating this. People, people who are very concerned about the amount of protein they eat. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Sup, nerd? What's up, Droid? How are you doing? Welcome, and it's good to see you. Are you making tacos? No, Droid, I'm making chili. You can't say that. 
I heard one time uh, Chef John Reed got really upset when uh, someone said something like that in history, and he went off. What up, Neith? Welcome in. How are you? Good to see you. How's your day going? Uh, taking a break from my mental health to focus on my work. Well, I mean, you do you, boo. We ain't going to judge, but usually it's kind of wise to prioritize mental health, but, you know, you do you. Welcome in, Neith. We're making, we're chilling and making chilling. I have very little energy right now. What did I, did I even do anything? Oh, the, the internet people came today and it went back and forth, back and forth. And in the end, nothing happened. It was a big old waste of time. So whatever internet we have is what we're using. So hopefully it's good enough to stream. Because uh, apparently to get the five gigs up and down is like way too much fucking work. Yeah. And I have to buy all this extra shit. Nah, I just don't feel like doing all that. All right, I think we good. Pretty good. Everything's brown. Can't remember the last time I made turkey chili. Can't remember the last time I made regular chili, let alone turkey chili. All right, that shit looks good. Moving on. Have you heard of a tamale pie? No. Where old? Pray tell, good sir. What is a tamale pie? This might be scandalous to say, but I shower naked. Holy shit, me too. Hepatitis, that's crazy. That's crazy shit. What are the chances that we both do that? It's insane. All right, we need a big ass bowl. Wait, no, we need a cast iron pot. Let's just put this right into the receptacle we're using. Oh, this one. Do you think it'll fit? Ha <laughs> ha, that's what she said. I think it'll fit. I think it'll fit. We need a scoopy scoop. Scoopy scoop, scoopy scoop. Uh, gamed with a friend most of the day, says Neith, then went out for tacos with a neighbor. Ooh, very nice. What kind of tacos would you get? Lengua? I like lengua tacos. I'm all about the tongue. What is a tamale pie? I just got killed at the same time while we both had shotguns. It was a bad way to go. Oh, I'm sorry, Street Fighter. Wait, I, I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but is it hard to get a shotgun? I hope not. You don't need five gigabytes up or down. I know I don't need it. I don't need anything. But um, on the streams where I stream during the day and the kids are rampaging around the house, I thought it would be nice to have overkill internet so that like all of them could have, they could be streaming their shows or gaming or whatever. Whatever. Yes, I, in the end, they're like, even if we gave you five gigs up and down, like you, would your computer even be able to handle it? Because most modern standard issue computers don't have that capability. And I was like, well, why did the motherfucker at customer service convince me to get it if, like, I couldn't withstand the power? Like, I don't think the person in customer service knew jack shit, which is great because I don't know jack shit. That's why I have an IT department on stream. You guys tell me what to do. I'm not, cra wait, I'm not that crazy. At least I wear socks. You wear socks in the shower? Nice. Again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you wear socks whilst engaging in amorous activities, I think you're not, I don't know. I can't, I don't want to yuck someone else's yum, but like it freaks me out personally. You do you, but I get freaked out. Like I will specifically request a guy take off his socks if we're about to engage in amorous activities, which is funny because recently I saw a porno and uh, the, the girl did, she's like, hey, don't forget to take off your socks. I was like, eh, it's my kind of girl. Make him take his socks off. This freaks me out when they wear socks. Uh, and he says, I shower in the dark uh, or with only a little light from another room. Ooh, that's, I do that on occasion. Like if I want a very, um, I mean, people will take bubble baths in the dark with candles all the time. No, sometimes, Sometimes it freaks me out to have so much bright light when I'm showering. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down for a moody shower every now and then. What's wrong with that? Uh, what did you get? I got one gig, Lin J. I have one gig up and down, I think. I'm pretty sure. Who keeps texting me? Oh, it's my family. Okay. Uh, I just got a game called Friends vs. Friends. It's actually pretty fun. What's Friends vs. I God, you guys, I got looped into a family fucking text message war. Uh, friends versus friends. What is that vendetta? I got a game called friends versus friends. Is it a board game or is it a, is it an online game? I'm all down for board games. 
my last board game night was a big success, and so I'm probably going to be hosting more of them. Everyone who had fun, or everyone who came to my last board game night, the next morning my phone just fucking blew up with everyone who had been there, and they're like, do it again, do it again. So apparently now i got to do it again. But it's hard to get that many people. Like, there was like six of us, seven of us. It's hard to get seven people's schedules all lined up again. Customer services code for sales department. Oh, yeah. That's right, Barry. It was so fucking annoying. I don't like socks on. Girl, I don't think... I've never met a girl who was like, I'm, I'm totally comfortable with you keeping your socks on during sex. Never, ever had a girl say that before. Funny thing, though, one guy... He was going to take them off anyways. One guy was like... I heard that if you, if girls wear their socks while engaging in amorous activities, then it helps them have orgasms. And I was like, no, some motherfucker just made that shit up so that he could keep his socks on. I don't know why. Why? No. Funny enough, girls, like all the girls I know are, we've talked about this at many girls nights and uh, all of us are freaked out if the guy leaves his socks on. Um, but I think I, I go so far as to say that all the girls also take their socks off. The only article of clothing that should still remain on would be like sexy underwear. That I can understand. Other than that, I don't know why, why it's still on. It's in the way and it's weird. All right. So we got. Oh, fraggle rock. Okay, we gotta dump this oil stuff. Do I have something to put it in? Mason jar? Mason jar. I'm too short. Cup it is. We're cup and cup. Oh. Did you guys see Cat Guy last night? It was adorable because every time I couldn't reach something, he just like looked down at me and just like grabbed it over my head. Yes, I'm short. Okay, so we're going to saute these in, I think that's enough fat, whatever. I was gonna add more bacon fat, but whatever. We're gonna cook these onions up and then throw those in there. It's gonna be an orgy of flavor. I don't like socks on, I don't like socks on either. Where else is a tamale pie is chili topped with cornbread batter and baked to finish the cornbread. It's pretty good. <gasps> Ooh. Chili topped with cornbread batter and baked to finish the cornbread. Oh, I like this world. That sounds kind of fun. Uh, Vendetta says it's an FPS pixel style shooter. Ah, friends versus friends is a is first person shooter pixel style. Nice. So is that kind of like Minecraft? Had a baby with Fortnite? That's what it sounds like. It's usually done in a large cast iron pan. Weralt, I think I've seen this before. Yeah, it's like a, it's a cornbread, cast iron cornbread with a chili garnish cooked in, you know. And he says, uh, I started doing it as a meditation, sensory deprivation thing. Occasionally I do shower in complete pitch darkness. That actually kind of sounds fun. I would do that, yeah. A little creepy, but it'd be fun. I, I can't, my I my bathroom has big ass windows, so there and there's no way that I can do complete pitch darkness. But if I went into the kids' bathroom that has no windows, then I could do that. That would be hilarious. Where'd my thing go? There it is. Okay, now I kind of want to do this. I could do this in the kids' bathroom. All right. Do I? Want to add more fat or no? No, let's, let's get, we're going to, we're going to mix it up. We're going to get a little char on the onions and see how that goes. And, oh, by the way, I'm into sensory deprivation thing now. Like subtly, not too much. TMI, but funny as fuck. Uh, I did a, never have I ever used a blindfold before. I used it for the, I always thought it was weird because like, I want to see what's going on. That's part of the fun. But then one time I was convinced to wear a blindfold and it actually was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So, huh? Score one for a sensory deprivation. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. I hate socks in general. So if I don't have to wear shoes, if I don't have to wear shoes, they're coming off. Yeah, Vendetta, me too. I, I really, I, like you guys have probably seen me, but I like, I'm, I'm always barefoot. Almost always barefoot. And then like from spring through end of fall, I'm usually in flip flops. Or stilettos. That's pretty much all I wear is flip-flops and stilettos. I don't think I own a pair of, like, sneakers unless they're my running shoes. I don't have flip-flops. Stilettos. Oh, and occasionally, the, like, a cute boot. But, no, I don't, I don't, and I only wear the socks with the boots. Or running, but no, I, I also am not a big fan of socks. 
right, I'm here to be with you, not your socks. Yeah. And I don't believe the whole something about orgasming with socks on. I think that's bullshit. That's false information. Unless you're considered in considering stockings to be socks, but they're, they're, that's not socks. Also, she's kind of like, I feel like your socks are one of the most grossest things you wear. Like they're, yeah. That should be the first thing to come off is your socks. I have some really weird about jeans in the bed. I do not like jeans in the bed. Yeah, I like my bed nice and clean. If I'm gonna get it dirty, I'm gonna get it dirty another way. I don't need your jeans in my bed. Uh, I also hate socks. I think a lot of people hate socks. I take the clothes, wait, I take the clothes off, but I leave the labels on so I re return everything an hour later. Oh my God, Barry, it's horrible. Uh, be safe, uh, don't fall down, okay. Make sure you know where to find all your soaps and things and your towel. Make sure there's a rug or something so you don't step on the slick floor. Good, Neith, I appreciate the bath. There is a rug or there's a bath mat. It's a very, the kids' bathroom is very small. Their bathroom is like, I don't know, a quarter the size of this kitchen. Their bathroom is really tiny. It's like literally a shower, you step out, a sink, toilet, that's it. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I should be okay. I probably, if I do the sem sensory deprivation shower, I'm probably not gonna do the whole nine yards of like washing my hair and all that stuff. I'll wear a shower cap and then, but I will do like the lather up and all that stuff. Wash my face. Now I'm kind of excited just cause it's a new experience. I'm all down for new experiences. Uh, I promise I won't fall down. What's up Harmony, welcome in. I walk barefoot in my toes most of the time unless footwear is required. Yeah, I mean, if you're going out, you should probably wear footwear. I, so I go through phases in the house too, like sometimes, cause I'm Korean and in Korea, uh, like we wear a lot of house, like everyone wears house slippers. Like whenever my mom's here, she always wears house slippers. I go through phases, like sometimes I'm really big on the house slippers and other times I'm like barefoot all the way. Currently I'm in a barefoot all the way phase, but it changes. I walk barefoot to the mailbox. Okay, you do you? Yeah. Sometimes I walk barefoot out till if I'm taking the trash out. I just have to walk across my driveway to put the trash in the trash bin. But usually, usually I don't do that too much. But my mailbox is really far away from my house, so I, I should wear shoes. Yeah, that's my thought. LT says, my partner can wear jeans and socks in bed if she wants, as long as she's shirtless and braless. Okay, yeah, yeah. She so that's the thing though. Like, are we talking about going to sleep too? Because I can't sleep. I can't sleep with like pants. I can't even sleep with pajama pants. I have to wear shorts, like really short. Like I I don't like stuff on my legs. I don't like being restricted. Yeah, most. Although I also I don't I don't sleep naked either because I have kids and they don't need to see that. Ain't nobody need to see that. But uh, yeah, I think tank or I usually I wear baggy shirts. So baggy shirt and booty shorts. That to me is the ultimate comfort. That's that's the best way for me to sleep at least. Nice and comfortable. I also straight up, I, I do that thing where I like sleeping naked. Okay, true. But usually like when Lynn J has people over, she does the same thing. You do booty shorts and a tank top usually if we're having girls night. But yeah, sleeping naked can be really comfortable. I'll agree with that. There are no kids home, then maybe. Then yeah, for sure. Sleeping naked is nice. Uh, but yeah, it, I have to be very particular on like what is on my body. Oh, that was the thing I was gonna say. I have a tendency to steal, this is, this is gonna make me sound like a serial killer. I have a tendency to steal gray t-shirts. Very specifically, they have to be gray. I don't know why. It started as an accident, like, I think it was, like, the third guy, and every, you know, like, if you're dating a guy, and you sleep over at their place, you, like, end up stealing one of their t-shirts, it just happened, to, or, like, they're at your place, and they leave a t-shirt, I don't know how it's happened, so, oh, yeah, they leave a t-shirt, but they wear their sweater out, anyways, I just started collecting t-shirts, and they always were gray t-shirts. I don't know. So now it's just a thing. Like if I'm dating someone new, I was like, can I have a gray t-shirt? And guess what? They always give me a gray t-shirt. It's pretty funny. That's the most serial killer thing I've ever said. I collect gray t-shirts. Uh, 
How many says even though textures bother me, I being forever in footwear is weirder for me. Fair enough. I like 